everyone today we'll be taking you on nightwear and before i start my class just so you know there are different types of nightwear it depends on your desired style so some can have it long some can have it short depending on whatever you want some will have it with sleeves some will have it with um without sleeves but the one i'm about to show you is the short sexy um nightwear that you can use the different fabrics for so before i go into my class i'd like to tell you different fabrics you can use for your nightwear so you can use a silky fabric, you can use a cotton fabric, you can use a chiffon fabric, and you can also use net or an embellishment to embellish your nightwear. Why are we picking these fabrics? Because they're easy to break. The fabrics are soft. Don't forget the nightwear. You don't want to um, be wearing something very thick to sleep. So back to our class. The first step says draft the basic body block, which I have done on the board. This is my basic body block. This is my CF and this is my CB. The next step says extend, the des extend to desired length and shape to desired style. <clears throat> Don't forget I said it depends on your style. So it can be short, it can be long. For, for, for the purpose of this class, I will leave mine short. The next step says add your desired neckline. So you can use any neckline of your choice. You can use the V neck, you can use the crew neck, you can use the jaw neck. But note, it depends on your desired style. So for the purpose of this class, I'm going to be using something of a sweetheart lip. So I'll be making use of my curl. So I'll be using my curl to draw out my sweetheart lip. So I'm choosing to use my sweetheart lip. So you can see I've drawn my sweetheart lip. From the base of your leg, just choose your desired depth. If you want it um, conservative or you want it to reveal much, get your desired depth and with the use of your curl. With the use of your cuff, place your cuff like this. Don't forget your cuff placement. And then after you get that point, connect it back to your under arm. Don't forget this, our knife will be having a strap. If you do not want the sweetheart neck, you can also do the round neck or the draw neck, whatever neckline you choose to do. For my CB, I can leave my back straight. Don't forget, my knife will comes with a strap. So I can come here and do a straight line. I can make it a bit curvy whatever choice I want. But I think I'll go with a straight line, yes. So that's, I've added my desired neckline. The next thing says, add your strap. So I wrote optional. Now this means, it depends on your desired style. So if you want the one with strap, that is when you do this. If you don't want the one with strap, know that yes, whatever it is you want there, add it to it. Or if you want the ones with the shoulder. So I'm going to show you how my strap goes. So you can see I've added my strap for both CF and CB. So I get this off and the side. Don't forget my CF remains on full. So at the end of the day, I have a short dress. I have a short dress. Now I'm going to show you, that's another thing is, if you're going to make use of your net. So for example, if I'm going to use my net, depending on whatever shape my net has, it can be a scallop shape. I'm going to use this as an example. So you can see I've added my net. So in the independent, depending on whatever I want to use, net, embellishment, beading, whatever trimming you want to use, add it to it. And this is for your nightwear. Thank you.